So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to complete the square and the amazing tricks that this thing can do. Alright, how complete the square works is that you have an equation. However, this equation just doesn't seem possible to factorize, no matter how hard you try it. Well, Huh? First, the first step you have to do is to add an unknown number and minus it off later at the end. Alright, the point is to make, uh, make this thing a square. So a square is where two brackets where x can minus a integer, a full whole number in our purposes for here. Yeah, integers, this whole numbers. Okay, so whenever you see x square minus two x, what's the most common number that comes next? It will be plus one to be able to make it a square because this thing would originate from this. Right, so for plus one, what do we have to plus for minus three to make plus one? It will be plus four. So from here, we have to add plus four to the back of the equation and minus it off later. All right, now you can make it, now you can make this a square. Where x minus one square, that's how it works and u minus 4. Alright, now do you see the difference of two squares? What does 4 represent? 4 represents 2 square. Now, the difference of two squares will be a minus b and a plus bracket a plus b which make a square minus b square. And this is the difference of two squares. So now we change it. It'll be x minus 1 minus 2 and x minus 1 plus 2. To make 0. Huh. So next step would just be find the value of x where x minus 3 would be equal to 0 and x plus 1 would be equal to 0. As long as any of these brackets are zero, the final result will be zero. So x will be equals to three, or x equals to negative one. So that's the basics of complete the square, where you first have to make this equation square by adding a number to the back and minus a off later, and you have to try to get the difference of two squares to continue on to find the answer at the back. Thank you. 